Welcome to my shop. Um, I got a request from uh, someone at AccuRide to describe my latest shop project, which is incorporating the use of some of their heavy duty slides. So um, I thought I'd take you through the project here that I'm working on, uh, give you uh, some details on it. Um, this is a uh, hacked together bench in my workshop on wheels that has some of my metal working equipment on it. It's got a cold saw, a buffing station, a grinder in the back, and a whole bunch of tools on a disorganized shelf below. I wanted to replace this with a mobile cart <clears throat> that had better casters and mobility, but most importantly had drawer storage underneath. And a lot of the stuff that's going to go in the drawers is pretty heavy, so I needed uh, heavy-duty slides. For it, so uh, let's let's zone in on the slides here. Uh, this is my design platform, Fusion 360 CAD CAM modeling system. Um, the first thing I did was bring in the heavy duty slides, uh, 3D models from uh, the Accuride website, and that's here. They came in as step files, so it was just a collection of parts and bodies without any connections. Or joints and so I set about making them functional uh, so that they actually articulate with the right motion and stop limits and all that sort of thing and then just for my convenience I added some etching or some engravings to the side in in the model design space so I know which side goes up and which side goes to the front and whether it's left or right so those those are that's what I did to the Accuride models um, to get them functionally uh, appropriate. This is the bench I came up with, bench design. Um, this is a 3D model um, in Fusion 360. You'll see the slides here in a minute, but um, this is uh, my concept was I'm going to build this out of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, and I'm going to put a stainless steel tread plate on top for protection. Some of the other hardware components here like the handles and the casters on the bottom <clears throat> were brought in directly into Fusion through this insert facility from McMaster Car where it actually brings up the McMaster Car catalog. I mean this is just a fantastic uh, capability. I wish uh, organizations like AccuRide and all the other hardware manufacturers would integrate into directly into Fusion the way this did. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, this is the cabinet design. It stands 34 inches off the floor. Uh, it's about 25 inches deep and 30 inches or so wide. Uh, I've got one big deep drawer here in the bottom. Uh, you can see these all articulate appropriately. I'll turn off the the right side of the cabinet and you can see a cut a sort of a cutaway view here uh, of this and I'll zoom in and you can see there are the there are the slides that I uh, modeled and brought into into this design um, <clears throat> so from here um, once I got this design developed I um, put together a set of drawings uh, also in, in Fusion 360 uh, that would allow me to go out to uh, go out to the to the shop and actually cut the parts and, and begin assembly. Um, so uh, let me show you what that looks like. So this is the drawing set that came out of Fusion 360. <clears throat> There's the details on on the drawer units. Uh, this is the upper and middle drawer. Uh, here's some details on the lower drawer and the cabinet construction and some of the exploded diagrams of it. Uh, here's overall dimensions. Um, as you can see, I'm working in millimeters here. Um, and then here's the parts list. This is for the, all, for the three drawers. And here's every component and uh, the dimensions and the material, etc. And then here's the cabinet box itself. Uh, again, parts list, etc. So 
this uh, parts list uh, I was able to export using an add-in uh, to Fusion 360 and then import that directly into my plywood cutting layout system cut list, which I absolutely hate, but it works. Um, I mean, talk about a throwback to DOS era user interface. Cut list Pro is exactly that. Anyway, here are the plywood uh, cut cutout layouts, uh, which I used to, to actually cut cut the parts in the shop. And so here's uh, here, here's a picture of the parts after being cut uh, on my sliding table panel saw. Uh, I'm doing some edge banding here. I'm not getting really fancy like I usually do. This is a shop cart after all, so this is an iron-on uh, pre-glued uh, birch banding uh, works fine for this kind of application. I'm going to end up painting this thing in the end. Uh, here, here's a picture during uh, glue up. I think you can see some of the construction details here. I'm using uh, dominoes uh, in the joints here uh, along with um, pocket screws uh, for construction and edge glue. So this should be um, pretty <laughs> Pretty bomb proof. Uh, <clears throat> here's a picture of the cabinet as it stands at the moment. Um, the box is done, the drawers are assembled. Um, my next, uh, and this is a test fit of the drawer inside the box. Um, I'll show you one more uh, design detail on, on the box. You can actually see the dominoes uh, used in the construction here and the back which is also three-quarter inch plywood is let in on all four sides with uh, a three-quarter inch dado. So that's my uh, <clears throat> little fabrication workbench uh, for metalworking that is going on in the shop. I think today I'll be able to give it a coat of primer and I'll give you an update when we move forward. Thanks for watching.